Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. This video is going to be the match preview for Algeria against Gambia. It's our first pre-tournament friendly ahead of the 2021 delayed Africa Cup of Nations. The game is taking place in Qatar, in Qatar, where we had our camp for the last AFCON and of course the last time we had a pre-AFCON camp in Qatar we won the whole thing. So let's hope the same thing happens. Now of course with the current pandemic around the world we hope the game's not cancelled at last minute and we hope that both teams are able to field an 11 for this game. Now the Algeria camp has been hit by a little bit of a COVID infection. We know for sure that Hossein Beniada has tested positive. We know that Mohamed Tugai has tested positive. Um, Buna Jah tested negative, but I don't. I think he's going to stay with his club anyway. And I think Yusuf Belayli, some reports that Yusuf Belayli tested positive, some reports that Yusuf Belayli tested negative. Now, of course, if Belayli is positive or negative, he's also trying to find a new club as well. And it looks like he's kind of hinting towards a move to the Middle East rather than to Europe, particularly because they can offer the big money packages that the likes of Montpellier and Marseille weren't willing to pay. But anyway, Belayli might have COVID. We, I'm going to say might have because with these reports, you never know for sure, but there's rumours. Um, so it looks like Belayli will also be unavailable for this game. It'd be great if he could play, but again, he has a great Arab Cup. If he has got COVID, a speedy recovery, inshallah, in time for the first game for the proper AFCON tournament. But... With Beniada out, with two guy out, and maybe Belayli out as well. And of course, Algeria are also missing a lot of players because clubs in Europe don't have to release players until January the 3rd. This game is on January the 1st. So the likes of Riyad Mahrez, Saeed Ben Rahman will probably be unavailable if they're playing with their clubs um, in the last Premier League game before the AFCON camp really kicks off. So you, you're going to see probably you're going to see a lot of players. Of course, um, Salah and Mane will be for Liverpool against Chelsea probably. You expect Ben Rahma to be with West Ham against Crystal Palace. Um, Mahrez to be with City probably against Arsenal. So don't expect Mahrez or Ben Rahma in that team for the Gambia game. So there's going to be a few players missing. I mean, in terms of the goalkeeping situation, Rice and Bulhi and Zugba are both unavailable for the match probably. So it is going to be most certainly Alexander Ukija in goal and the other goalkeeper from the Arab Cup, Abdurrahman Majadal has been drafted in to the squad. I don't think Majadal would go to AFCON, but he's been drafted in as a backup goalkeeper because we can't go into the Gambia game with just one goalkeeper. If Okija wanted to come off for whatever reason, we can't put, you know, Faguli in goal. So Majadal drafted into the squad, uh, the fourth goalkeeper involved, so he'll probably be the sub-goalkeeper. Okija will probably start in goal, and then in defence, you expect Halemiya and Chetty as your full-backs. Hopefully Badalain at the back alongside. We don't know who Badalain is going to play alongside. There's a few options in midfield. You've got Zaruki there, Faguli there. Hopefully Banassa is going to be there uh, because of the Serie A break. So Faguli, Zaruki, Belkubla is there as well. Farid Belaya is there. Uh, hopefully Adam Zorgan is going to be there. I think they are there, have started training with the squad. We've seen a few videos of the players training already. So hopefully we've got a good strong midfield for that Gambia game because in these friendlies you want to get the players ready for the tournament. You don't want to be having the first game against uh, Sierra Leone and Equatorial Guinea having to rush around with players that haven't played together for a while. And then in attack, um, I think Bonajah might miss out. Of course, from the time you're watching this to kick off, a lot of things could change. More players could test positive. The game could get called off, so forgive me if that does happen. Um, I expect Slimani to be up front. He's already travelled. Adam Nurse has travelled, I believe. Farid Belaya can play an attack. It could be a good opportunity to see what Amora could do. Amora is there, Amora could play as well. So maybe Slimani, Slimani Adam Unnurs and Amora could, could feature in this one. Maybe Belaya in attack as well. So hopefully, and of course, if Belayli could feature, if he, if he doesn't have COVID, if he has got COVID, he's gonna miss out. So it's gonna be an interesting 11. Um, there's a few players joining up later than the others. I think, you know, Benassa, Ben Sabani, Atal are joining later. Um, so it's going to be an interesting squad. Of course, the players have to be match fit as well. A lot of games around the continent of Europe have been cancelled. Of course, the Bundesliga, Serie A, they tend to have a winter break at this time of year. So a lot of those players aren't match fit as well. Now we're playing Gambia. Gambia was actually, if you remember, I think it was Bulmadi's first game in charge of Algeria. It was Gambia against Algeria. And we drew the game 1-1. It was delayed by an hour and a half. Um, there was fans literally sitting on the pitch because there were so many, too many supporters in the stadium. 
Um, I think Bruno just scored the goal in that game. We drew 1-1 to Gambia, qualifying for the last AFCON. And then we played Gambia at home in a nothing game because we'd already qualified. And we actually drew 1-1, I think, at home to Gambia again. And Okija was in goal for that game. I think it was a last-minute Gambia goal. But we, we were missing a lot of players. Players like Badawi were playing. It was a second egg side. This time, Gambia, I think this is their first ever AFCON. So Gambia are going to AFCON as well. Um, so, you know, I've got to say massive congratulations to Gambia, to the people of Gambia for qualifying for the Africa Cup of Nations. What a huge achievement it is to see your country going to Cameroon. So whatever Gambia do at this tournament, enjoy it. Uh, they're in Group F and they've got Tunisia in their group. So they've got another North African team, probably why Gambia looking to play against Algeria to test themselves for when they play Algeria. And of course, for us, we've got Equatorial Guinea in our group. Probably want to test that out in Sierra Leone in terms of playing Gambia. And then we're going to play Ghana, I think, as a test for Ivory Coast. So Gambia, good luck to them. They've got Barrow, they've got Collie at the back. Got some decent players in their team. It's not going to be a walkover. Barrow's played in the Premier League uh, with Swansea. Collie at the back plays in uh, Serie A. Um, so they've got some experienced players. What they haven't got is tournament experience, but this is going to be a great learning curve for all of their players. So Gambia have got Tunisia, Mali and Mauritania. So they'll be looking probably to go through as a third place team in their group. So it's good to test ourselves against a team going to the tournament as well. So the game is going to be quite competitive because it's important to both teams. The only issue is we haven't got all of our players available. So we, we're probably not going to be able to field the team that will start the group stage until the Ghana game probably. And even then you've got Mares and Benrahma arriving quite late to that Ghana game. That's on January 5. And the, our first, uh, the tournament kicks off on, on January 9. So if, if they're traveling, you know, on January 3rd, are they going to be match fit? Are they going to be off the plane and then off into Doha and then straight into the team? So it's a shame. It, it's disruptive. I think FIFA shouldn't have intervened and these players should have been going much earlier. The fact that they're going to play out another Premier League game at the beginning of January. I mean, could you imagine if, if Mares plays Arsenal and gets injured or if Ben Rama plays Palace and gets injured? There's going to be huge uproar from the Algerians in terms of the consequences of that and him missing the tournament. But let's see anyway. Pep Guardiola likes to rotate anyway. But hopefully it's going to be a good game. I think Algeria, again, we, we drew to Gambia twice in the last two meetings. We should win this game. Uh, remember the last AFCON, the pre-tournament games, we drew to Burundi and still won the tournament. So the result doesn't matter too much. Players fitness, trying tactics out, trying a few players out. Um, moulding Chetty and, and players like that into the main national team rather than the Arab Cup team is going to be important. Working with Belmadi instead of Bulgaria. But I think Algeria will win the game maybe 3-1. I'm going to say Algeria 3, Gambia 1. I, I think Gambia, I, I respect them for qualifying. They've got some talent. They've got some good players in their team, I reckon. Um, not sure how they play as a team, but in terms of some of the individuals, they've got very good players. So... Let's see what, what's going to happen in this game. I think we're going to win 3-1. Of course, you've got the heat of Qatar to deal with as well. Uh, you can make six substitutes in the friendly if we're even going to be able to field six subs. But uh, expect Okija in goal and Majada drafted into the bench. And expect probably Slimani up top with a nurse, Belaya, supporting maybe Amora getting some, a bit of game time. Midfield's quite strong. Chetty and Halimia or Atal in the fullback areas. But Delane will surely start at the back. And that's going to be Algeria's probable rough lineup for this game. So let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments down below. It's Algeria against Gambia. AFCON season is upon us. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to all the support. We will have a full video previewing the whole tournament and every team, all 24 teams, uh, just before the tournament starts, hopefully, inshallah. So that'll be good as well. So hopefully Algeria kick things off on New Year's Day with a win. I'm sure lots of people are wondering... What time? Where can I watch it? Are there going to be supporters in the stadium? The thing is, it's down to Belmadi. Belmadi doesn't really want people knowing what he's going to do. So we, we had the problem the last tournament with the games not being on TV and not being able to watch them and having to watch dodgy streams. I don't know if it's going to be televised. I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Um, if it's not, we're just going to have to listen to the radio or try and get bits and pieces and watch the highlights. But let's see what happens with this game. Algeria against Gambia. Hopefully we get the win. And hopefully we are on our way to AFCON injury free. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.